Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to explain you what is the use of distinct function. So let's take an example. Let me create the blank screen first. Okay, so let me show you the back end. So this is my power platform SharePoint list. So now you can see we have a one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six records in this details list. So let's suppose if I want to show the distinct value. So how we can achieve this? Let's suppose uh, in the in the class column, uh, there is a duplicacy. Uh, let's suppose we have a two records for one class one. We have a two records for class two. We have a three two records for class three as well. So if I want to uh, show only the distinct value, then how we can achieve this? So let's take an example. Okay, so just for to showcase you the backend data, I am taking the data table. So now you can see, let me delete this. Okay. So now you can see this is the SharePoint list data. Let me paint this. So now you can see we have a six records and this is the data table control data table control we used to just display the data in the app let me just uh, fill the border color as well okay so now this is the border okay so now let's add a gallery vertical gallery so let's connect the data source let me increase this let me delete this image so now you can see by default if i go and play this so by default gallery is able to showcase all the records whatever we have in this uh, backend sharepoint list so now what we need to do to filter out the distinct value for this uh, class column so let me showcase to you this class common is a, a choice type here is the choice one two and three so now what we need to do just we need to go to this item property of this uh, item property of this gallery and now we will write the distinct function so, so now you can see it is asking you to mention the source and the expressions. So our source would be the details. Now it will ask you which column do you want to use to fetch the only distinct value. So my column is a class. So I will not class. So let's so now you can see if I select this so here we have only three records so now what we need to do because this is showing a error because earlier we are just fetching the data directly from the data source without any function any filtration so now what we need to do we need to just write a value dot Get this Get this zero. So let me play this. So now you can see here we have only three records one, two, three. So that's how we can use the distinct function in the Power Apps. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. See you later.